the concept of the multiplicity of universes and the alternate reality, which only now enters the minds of some scientists, has been an obvious fact for magicians since ancient times. Magic has always understood that in the completeness of the universe, every event in the past, present, and future, always happens in every possible way, and therefore reality is simultaneously fully actual and entirely potential. When we say I see the world, we mean that one of the infinite number of states of consciousness forms slash describes one of the infinite states of being. In other words, at this moment, an infinite number of emmakers in an infinite number of spaces are writing this, or a similar, or completely different, post, just as an infinite number of emmakers are engaged in entirely different activities and living entirely different lives. At the same time, what is actual for one of the variants of reality remains potential and hidden in the darkness of the space of probabilities for all others. Just as being, shaping itself through consciousness, realizes itself in an infinite number of ways, consciousness realizes this manifestation through an infinite number of paths. Each individual consciousness, each monad, exists simultaneously in all possible states that are possible for it, and therefore in all possible parallel realities. This is precisely what magic means when it says that we are not objects, we are processes, since with each of our actions, we move from one state to another, from one reality to another, without any foundation, carrier of these transitions and realities. For magicians, to talk about reality means to talk about consciousness, to change consciousness means to choose reality. Magical visualizations, which form the basis of many rituals, are not just a way of creative thinking, they are a specific way of transforming the streams of reality. And when magicians say that reality is as we perceive it, they mean not a psychological, but a completely physical, energetic fact. Similarly, working with reference points amulets, names, and principles is the art of choosing the reality in which the manifestation of the monad will exist. This is why magicians always talk about responsibility. Every choice that consciousness makes, every point of bifurcation, is actually a choice of the reality in which it will exist. Although individual consciousness as a total entity exists simultaneously in all possible states, its overall flow, composed of all these manifestations, has its general vector, and each manifestation contributes to it. Therefore, although each choice is made in all possible ways, the ratio between these ways may be different. The completeness of the manifestation does not mean staticness, nor does it imply the absence of movement and development. Accordingly, magic as an art of conscious choice of reality is also an art of consciousness development. Striving for awareness and realization, a magician actively makes choices and therefore actively shapes the reality in which their awareness occurs. And, of course, the state of each of the countless manifestations of this individuality affects both the individuality as a whole and each of its manifestations. This is exactly what magic means by soul growth and accumulation of experience. Although magic does not believe in the immortality of personality, it by no means denies the importance of personal efforts. On the contrary, it insists on their necessity and criticality for the overall state of consciousness, both in this individuality and in the entire fullness of the Great Spirit.